Hey, I'm Donald Bell, and as some of you know, I am a little obsessed with hacking toys, in particular the Big Mouth Billy Bass Talking Fish. A few years back, I wrote a popular guide that detailed how to puppet the mouth of the Billy Bass using any audio input. It's a neat trick, but there were three problems I couldn't solve at the time. One was how to get both the mouth to flap around and the tail to flap around how to get the audio to play back over the internal speakers instead of having to route it out to an external speaker, and basically how to minimize all the cables that were coming out of the fish that just didn't look very cool. So with a lot of help from my friend Jordan Bunker, I've updated this guide, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make your own Bluetooth controlled Big Mouth Billy Bass that responds to any audio input you send to it and plays it back over internal speakers. I will cover the highlights here in this video, but you can find the full step-by-step -step instructions using the link in the description. First, here's what you'll need, and you can find links to everything in the description. You'll want an Arduino Nano, an H-Bridge motor driver board, an audio amplifier board, a Bluetooth module, some speakers, a micro USB breakout board, a short audio cable, and a small 5K potentiometer. You'll also need a Billy Bass, and this guide works on any new or used model, though there are some ancient original models that use a three motor design instead of the more common two motor design. Even on the used market, these things can be surprisingly expensive. I've had okay luck getting knockoffs on AliExpress, but they take a while. One of the best deals I found actually is getting Amazon warehouse stock of the Alexa compatible model they released last year. It's an incredibly disappointing product, but the wiring is super clean and that's what I'm gonna be working on for this video. Next, you'll wanna do some prep on the fish, remove the back, clip the motor wires where they meet the board, Remove the old board and clip away any additional wires coming from it. You'll also want to remove the little garbage speaker that's in there. Let's also clean up the battery compartment so that we can reuse it to hold some components. You're going to take out the wires and battery clips. Using clippers, take out any dividers so that you're left with a nice empty space. Next, we're going to install the audio components, and this includes the Bluetooth module and the amplifier module. Keep in mind that you may need to clip away some of the standoffs in the case to fit everything, depending on what Billy Bass model you have. Because the amp module has a little volume pot attached to it, you'll need to drill out a spot for that to pass through. You'll also notice that I'm using hot glue here to mount the boards in the case. Next comes power, and in this case, we're getting that through the micro USB breakout board, so we need to mount that somewhere convenient. On the newest model, there's already one here that you can reuse or replace. The benefit of not putting it directly on the bottom is that it won't get in your way if you're going to stand this up on a table. I also recommend that you put a 1000 UF capacitor across the VCC and ground connections on the board. This should help keep the current draw from the motors from interrupting the other components. Next up, we have the H-Bridge motor board. There are two motors in the fish, one that flaps the mouth and one that flaps the tail or the head, depending on which direction you run it. You connect up the motor wires to motors A and B on the board. I've got the tail motor going to A and the mouth to B, but whichever way you do it, you can always change it in the Arduino code later on. You're gonna wire up the four inputs on the board with four different colors of wire, all around five inches long. These will eventually go to the Arduino. We also need power going to the board directly from the USB breakout, so wire up the positive and negative pads to the breakout and I recommend using the legs of the capacitor as kind of makeshift power rails. Now for the speakers. It's tough to get great sound out of a fish. There's not a lot of room in here for the speakers. These are the best I could find that are a compromise of size and cost. Plus you get two to fit in here, which sort of helps. You can drop one of these right in where the old one was and you can glue it up with some hot glue or E6000. The other will have to kind of awkwardly fit on the other side, kind of over where the cutout is for the stand. Plus you'll need to drill out some holes for it before gluing it in place. Cut and strip wires from the speakers to the positive and negative terminals on the amplifier board, leaving lots of slack in the wire so that you can squish it down when everything goes back together. You may even want to give it a test fit. The last bit of hardware to install is the Arduino Nano, and we're gonna put it here in the battery compartment. The one little extra bit here is to wire in a small 5K potentiometer in line with the wire that's coming from the Bluetooth module. 
This gives you a little trim pot for dialing in the sensitivity of the audio before it hits the Arduino because some Bluetooth devices have wildly different audio levels. Next, you need to load up the code I provided onto the Arduino. This code is all new code from Jordan Bunker with comments in each section that spell everything out. There's also a custom library that he created for controlling the H-Bridge board. You'll need to download that library and install it in your Arduino library folder. Once you've successfully uploaded the code and powered everything on, pair your phone with the Bluetooth module and play some test audio to see if everything is working. If your fish is flipping out too much or too little, you can use that trim pot we just installed to dial in the setting you like. When you're happy, seal everything back up and then move on to figuring out where Billy is gonna live in your house. So that's how to get a Billy Bass to respond to any Bluetooth audio signal. Know that the mouth flapping effect looks best with spoken content like podcasts or audiobooks. I hope you're into it and be sure to subscribe and click the link below to view the project write up and the parts list on Maker Pro. I'm Donald Bell. Thanks for watching.